Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. And today I happen to be checking my spam folder and I saw this email and I noticed my name and a password that I've used in the past with a website. And what's happened is websites get hacked and they get access to your password and they try and then use it as a way to threaten you and scare you and then put ransom uh, message uh, in the email as you can see here. I'm not going to read the entire email but they uh, have mentioned that password uh, and then they mentioned I went to some triple X website and that also they caught me with the webcam and I don't have any webcam on and that they will then share this with people that I know. It said that right after that, my software program obtained your complete contacts from your messenger, Facebook, and email. Next, they made a double video. First part shows your video you were viewing. Uh, you have nice taste, ha, ha, ha. And the second part displays the recording of your webcam. Yeah, it's you. Uh, so I didn't have any webcam uh, showing and whatever. I may have gone to some website and, uh, but, Clearly, they're trying to scare me here, and then they offer two options. First choice is to neglect this email. In this case, I will send your actual recorded material to just about all your personal contacts, and just imagine concerning the awkwardness you will get, and definitely, if you're in an affair, exactly how it can affect. So you can see, look, there's even spelling mistakes and the way they've typed this out. And then the second choice is should be to compensate me $898 and then they'll make it go away. I need to then send it via Bitcoin the money and they're saying that it can't be traced. Uh, they've got all their tracks covered and they're going to try and humili humiliate me. All right, whatever. So I ended up calling the... I en Actually, I ended up going and reading some other blogs and websites and there's you know a ton of stuff out here on google that talks about this i was then suggested to just call the local fbi i did and then they told me that i should file a complaint with the ic3 so you would want to go to www.ic3.gov and you want to file the complaint when you go to click on file complaint it will then give you these options and you click this top one submit to submit an internet crime complaint with IC3 and then you say accept and then you go through all you know the information you copy and paste the email uh, my email was too big to copy and paste and then you submit it but basically they said you know don't respond ignore it uh, clearly you can you if you go to any of these websites I'll put this link as well there's a bunch of scammers out there and uh, just, you know, obviously it might, caught, it might catch your attention at first. And they, How did they get your password? Well, probably a website they've gone to. And one of the other things that I use, which uh, I highly recommend, and I will put a link, is for a password app, which allows you to change your passwords. It's called Dashlane. And I'll Put a link in there as well and you can get like six months free of dashlane premium it's great i love it store all my passwords on there so anyway i wanted to share this with you so be safe out there don't fall for these scams wanted you to be aware of this all right everybody have a safe day thanks for watching take care